multi-channel export with these settings which includes 5.1 stems we're going to need to do this this may vary depending on what your output requirements are but in this scenario here we are going to create a new track a new sequence title it make sure the sequence is the same aspect um, resolution as your sequence and frame rate go into tracks select multi-channel select mono and in this case we need I think it was 12 tracks number of channels 12 channel output and we're going to do this one and two goes to channel one One and two, channel one. Three and four to there. Three and four to there. Five, six. And we can always change this in the track mixer. So we're going to just go to OK and we'll show you how to do it there if you need to. So right here, this is where we assign the left and right. So it should go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 11, 12. So this means on your multi-track output, These are the tracks that are going to the different outputs. Otherwise, it would all just be a stereo mix. So now you have your multi-track output and you drag your stems in accordingly. I'm just pasting these in, but you will have separate stems that will relate to your, each of your tracks. And if we want to name them, basically, L R C L F E L S R S. We can just rename them here. Left, right, center, and so on along the lines here. And then when we output, we want to do a format that accepts multi track output, which is QuickTime. Right here, output channel stereo. No, we're going to do 12 channels. So now when you output it, you'll get 12 separate audio channels, including the 5.1 as a mono stems.